In this video, uh, we're going to look at a rational function, and we're going to identify the asymptotes and the zeros. So the first off are the vertical asymptotes. So the vertical asymptotes are whatever makes the denominator zero. So we're basically going to set the denominator equal to zero, and we see that that happens at x equals one and x equals two. Now the one thing you want to check is make sure that 1 and 2 don't make the numerator 0 also because then you'd have a hole instead of a vertical asymptote. Um, so we can see that the zeros of the numerator, so we set this numerator equal to 0 because we're going to need those two anyways. 4 makes it 0 and negative 3. So 4 and x equals negative 3. So zeros of the denominator give the vertical asymptotes 1 and 2 and they're not repeated. So there's our vertical asymptotes. Um, the hor the uh, zeros are 4 and negative 3 only. Again, there's no negative 3 down here, no 4 down here, because if there's a 0 and a vertical asymptote, well, you can't have both. That would create a hole in the graph. So our zeros are 4 and negative 3. And the last thing we have to find is the vertical asymptote. Now, we don't need to multiply r of x completely out. We just need to see what degrees we have. So I can tell if I were to multiply out the top, I would have an x squared term and it would have a negative 2 in front of it. If I multiply at the bottom, we only care about the leading term. I'd have a 1x squared. Now, if those are the same, well, they cancel. And I've got a horizontal asymptote at y equals negative 2 because they're going to grow at about the same rate. If the denominator has a higher degree, the horizontal asymptote's automatically zero. If the numerator would have had a higher degree, there would be no ver horizontal asymptote. So that's how we can identify that stuff in a rational function.